The average price of a home has reached over a hundred grand. The annual rate of house price inflation is now over 10 percent, and first-time buyers are down almost one in ten on last year alone. Just some of the stats surrounding the issue of buying a property in the UK. The IPP offers support to employers, and they have received such a high number of reports that top-quality fake pay slips are being used by employees to get huge mortgages they may never be able to repay. They're calling for the government to create a new law banning them. Maurice Cheng is the CEO. If, for example, we're talking about a fake NHS prescription or a fake passport, no problem. It's obviously, you know, absolute outlaw. When it's a pay slip, everyone thinks that's simple. Now it's so simple to get. It's frightening. I logged on to some of the websites offering to send you a pay slip for a small fee, and found the following. For starters, I was told I was visitor number 168,970. Confidentiality is guaranteed. Information on each client is deleted the same day. They asked me to type in some personal details, the amount I earned, and that was it. They'll even fill in the tax code for you. It is important to notice that this is not illegal. It is only if I, with my new fake pay slip, went to a mortgage lender and claimed it was real. That's fraud. Maurice says that's not good enough. Why don't the establishment actually recognise that it's an issue that they need to deal with? For now, the law remains clear. You can buy an almost perfectly faked pay slip online, but what's certain is that more and more people are finding this a way to get illegally onto the property ladder.